In gambling, there's an elusive technique called shuffle tracking. The downside is you have to stare directly at the cards at all times. Now imagine having the ability to shuffle track using nothing but sound. This is lockdown. Have you heard about shuffle tracking? I heard of it, yeah. A little bit, right? It's, yeah, not, not. Basically, uh, you can track a single or multiple cards yeah. throughout a series of shuffles, okay. right? I've been actually working on a technique mm -hmm. where you can shuffle track the whole deck without ever having to look at the cards. Uh, I'll show you how I've been practicing. Okay. Technically, uh, you take the cards, right? Yeah. And this is how you practice. You don't really do this for real, but yeah. you do face up into face down, okay? okay? and then you slowly and loudly shuffle the cards into each other. But as you do, you don't really care what they look like. All you care about is what it sounds. Yeah. You want to give it a try? A, uh, a shot? Let's do it, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Here, before we even start, just okay. give them a quick mix so you don't even, uh, so okay. you know that I don't know the order of the cards, okay? And this is how you practice. Since you're new at this, I'll walk you through every step right. of the way. Cut them in half, right? And then any packet you want, turn it face up. It doesn't matter, okay? Now remember, you're slowly and loudly gonna shuffle the packets together, focusing all of your attention on the sound of the shuffle. There we go. Got it. Okay, good. Now push the cards together like this, make sure you don't let me see. Now you just heard your shuffle. If you spread the cards in front of you, you're gonna see what you just heard. That's why we shuffle the cards face up into face down so you can see that pattern of your shuffle. So here's what I want you to do. You're gonna take out any card at all from the deck. You're gonna turn it over and also put it back anywhere you want. But before you do, just make sure you remember that card. Perfect, so close the cards. Now think about this. I don't know the cards. You shuffle the cards. I was turned away the whole time, okay. right? Yeah. Is there any way that I could know where you took your card from? Um, no. Where you put it back? No. Whether it's even face up or face down? I don't think so, no. There's no way I could know anything about your card. What I do know is the pattern of your shuffle, right? Because okay. I heard the shuffle, so technically now, you disrupted that pattern with the card that's in your mind. You took something, you put it somewhere else. Yeah. So all I have to do is go through and see what's out of place. And that should tell me exactly the card that you're thinking. And actually, <laughs> I think I know. I think I know what you're thinking. I mean, just think about it. You shuffled, you did everything, face up, face down. I have, there's no way I could know which card you're thinking from the whole entire deck. Okay. Yet, I have committed to only this one card. For the first time ever, what's the card that's in your mind? Nine of clubs. Nine of clubs. Yeah. Turn it over. He's gonna do it again. <laughs> Lockdown is an impromptu, self-working masterpiece. It uses a borrowed deck, there's no peeking, your back is turned the whole time, you genuinely do not know what their card is, yet you're still able to find it. Lockdown is incredibly easy to perform, practically self-working. In fact, the spectator does most of the work for you. Hello everybody. My name is Manoj Kaushal and this is Lockdown.